is how to uh, make your sea moss drinks. Um, specifically, we're going to be doing uh, sea moss with sour sap and aloe vera plant. So you guys get to basically follow me along for the journey. And I guess I need to take it out so you guys can see me for a second. All right, so let me turn this around. There we go. So you guys can see me for a second. Um, so for those of you, there we go. For those of you that have never heard of sea moss, um, I did introduce sea moss today for our sea moss smoothie. And I said I would come back on and give you guys a tutorial of how to use or another way that you can possibly use sea moss. Um, I'm just getting logged on here. So the ingredients that we're going to be using today is, of course, our bloomed sea moss. Bloomed means rehydrated in so many words. We're going to be using aloe vera plant and also sour sap. I'm not using fresh sour sap because it's not um, available right now. So I am using the frozen version that I thawed out. This is 100% just sour sap um, or I think gunabana is how they pronounce it. Minuta sour sap. Um, but this is just sour sap frozen, which was the purest form that I could find. It's pasteurized. All the rest had syrup in them and I did not want the syrup. So what I'm going to do is get on here so I can see everything. So I'm going to get on my own. Hey, uh, there we go. So you can actually get the sea moss on my website. It's available on my website in two ounces now. on my website in two ounces now. Oh, let me turn the volume off. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you're gonna need. So I went to Walmart and got a better um, blender, which is a Ninja, great blender. It was $99. I didn't get the, um, the one that does hot food and all that. You're gonna get the one that you basically will actually use. So what I'm gonna do, um, I did blend up some sea moss earlier today for a sea moss facial mask. So I'm gonna pour this out. I was just soaking it so that I could clean it off, which is not clean. So we're just gonna rinse that out. Okay, we're good. Okay, rinse that out as well. Okay, so a lot of you do not know what sea moss really is. So I am going to show you what sea moss is, okay? So I'm gonna put you guys on my tripod here. Hold on one second for me. There we go. Okay. So sea moss is an, al an algae. Okay, um, it's a red algae. It also comes in the color purple. Um, they are both in the same family. When you get sea moss, it looks like this, okay? It looks all scrawny and midgety looking, that kind of thing, okay? But when you bloom it, you basically wash it and soak it in purified or filtered water, and then you allow it to bloom for between... They say between eight and 24 hours, but I did mine. You can know, I've seen people do it for 30 minutes if they needed to. You're just rehydrating the sea moss. So it goes from really, really tiny to nice size pieces. Okay. So this is already cleaned um, and already bloomed. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so in regards to ingredients, I've had people ask me, um, there we go. I've had people ask me, uh, do you sweeten it? Why do you drink it? That kind of thing. Sea moss is one of those ingredients that's like, it's like, a, it's not even like, it is a superfood. It is great for the thyroid support. It's great for inflammation. It's an anti-inflammatory 
Um, there is 92 of 102 essential minerals in it for the body. Um, it helps with focus. It helps with um, blank, blank dysfunction in gentlemen. Um, it's great for women who have infertility issues. It is great for people who are dealing with high blood pressure. It is high in zinc. That is another thing. It has a lot of zinc in it. You can use sea moss on your skin, which I did today in my last video. In that video, I showed you guys how to use our new dark spot remover um, soap and finishing cream. And we also did a sea moss. Uh, we did a CMOS facial mask today as well in the last live. So if you missed that, you are welcome to go back and see that live. Um, we, we did a whole bunch today, actually. So <laughs> a lot of people were like, whoa, that, that's a lot. that was a lot going on today. There was a lot going on. I can tell you guys that right now. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do is get my cutting board. Let me move my laptop over. Where do you get the CMOS? It's available on my website. It is available on my website. So this is actually a good amount of CMOS. This is a, a lot in my eyes. So I'm actually not going to use all of this today. Um, I bloomed enough that I can bag it up. So I'm going to get a Ziploc bag. Oh, okay. Okay, so we're gonna get a Ziploc bag and you're just gonna be, a, you can store whatever you're not gonna use, okay? So I'm gonna use this nice piece here. I'll put the rest in a Ziploc bag here. And then I can store it in my refrigerator. The only thing I did was rehydrate it. I didn't add any water to it, so I'll just store it in my refrigerator, okay? So we're gonna use this piece here, and that's good for me. For my aloe, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my aloe plant which I'm not a gifted person at cutting aloe, so don't judge me. I don't want to waste any, but aloe is one of those things where it's so cheap to get. It's not hard to get aloe. I mean, in these times with COVID-19, if anybody hears that aloe cures anything, they're going to run to get it. So let me not say it's not hard to get. And you can use a spoon and scoop the aloe out if you choose. It's okay. I'm not, I'm not going live. I mean, I'm live. Yeah, aloe grows basically everywhere but in i've always known it as Cinco Bible. let me wash my hands really quick i love aloe but i hate the way it feels on my hands all right so we're gonna go ahead and put we'll take our blender here and I'm just gonna cut my aloe. Let me take off these little slivers of skin. I don't want any skin in there. Yeah, we used to grow this in our front yard and I used to think that it was a cactus. Um, I'm, I know that they are part of the same family, but I was so scared to touch it because I thought that it was going to do something to me. Mind your business. All right, so we have that. And then we're gonna take our sea moss. You don't have to cut it up. I'm just cutting it to make it a little bit easier to blend, but you don't have to. This piece was just a really large piece. And this is already cleaned and bloomed. So you definitely wanna make sure that you clean it really, really well. Um, our sea moss is 100% organic. It still has the sea salt on it. So you wanna make sure that you clean it really well. All right, yeah, pour it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take out my soa sop here. So what I'll do is I'm gonna lift my 
my little camera here. All right, here we go. I wanna make sure you guys can see. All right. So I have a little over eight ounces of water here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh -oh, put my blender on, okay? You guys can see. Christian, put the lamp back. Put it back. The lamp. My kids like to put stuff everywhere. It drives me nuts. He puts the lamp on the floor. I don't know. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and cut our salsa here. So this is what the bag looks like. Just so you guys know, that's what the bag looks like. All right, so I'm gonna pour my soursop juice in the blender. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and blend up my sea moss and my aloe plant. And I'm going to throw in about four ounces of water. So far, do you guys have any questions? No, okay, good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and turn this on. Does it wanna turn on? It doesn't because it wasn't closing. The sour sap I got at the Caribbean store, they didn't have any fresh sour sap, so I got the frozen one. It says you have to keep it frozen. And if you look on the back here at the ingredients, it's just the sour sap pulp and absorbic acid. That's it. Absorbic acid is also a preservative. All the other ones that I saw, they had syrup in them and sugar, and I did not want the syrup and the sugar. So I wanted, this one worked out really well because it's nice and cold and you have to keep it frozen. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on our blender. And just really blend up your sea moss. So we're gonna turn it off. If you guys can tell, it's nice and creamy. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what it looks like. So as of right now, that is what it looks like. It was blending for a while. So you'll see it, it's like frothy, but that is gonna settle, okay? That will settle. So we'll put that on. Now we're gonna pour our sour sap in there. Now the thing with sea moss is it's almost no taste to it. Um, so it will pick up the taste of whatever you put with it. So right now it tastes like aloe and sea moss, right? So a sap is a fruit. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in. So you guys see that it's the pulp, it's like really thick. I'm gonna tilt the camera up for a second because I want you guys to see how thick it is. So this is actually the pulp, which is great. And I'm probably gonna eat one. <laughs> I have this thing with, with, with some stuff, I don't know. So let me eat one and tell you what it tastes like out of this bag. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, I probably won't blend all of it because I wanna eat it. <laughs> mm -mm. I have a crazy love for sour sap. Okay, 
but this angle is really good, so I'm gonna just pull it back a little bit. Now, if you don't like the pulp of salsa, you can blend it up first, strain it off, and then put it in. I'm okay with it. Sour sap smoothies are good. So anybody that doesn't know anything about sour sap, sour sap is amazing for cancer treatments or cancer, um, cancer patients. It has a lot of healing properties to it. Same thing with sea moss. So when you pair the two together, it's like heaven. Okay. And then I'm also going to take a lime. So I'm taking one lime. And with this lime, I'm going to um, squeeze some into the mixture. What is the problem? Christian started sticking his tongue at a drum, so I took the controllers off. I didn't stick my tongue. Go to the stuff. So we're gonna squeeze some lime in there. Sour sap has its own natural sweetness. It's not really sweet. Um, it's something that you can, it's not really sweet at all. It's not only in the Jamaican stores. They sell it sometimes in the Chinese supermarkets too and the Latin supermarkets or Spanish supermarkets. Um, it's not only in the Jamaican stores though, no. And where I buy it from, it's not really a Jamaican supermarket, it's a Caribbean supermarket. So it's for everybody. Now, if you want to add sugar, you can. I'm not going to add any sugar. Let's turn it on. And I just want to confirm that it is all mixed up before I make or add anything. And then I like to clean off the sides too. So what you want to do is just clean the sides down. But sometimes you'll have pulp and stuff on the sides. And then now you got a lot of baby big stuff in your, your smoothie. So this is really, really thick. So we're going to thin it out. While you thin it out, I'm going to pour it well. You know what? Let me do it this way. Because you don't want to thin it out too much. So there's a little spout here. I'll turn this on. check it for thickness yes you can drink it like a smoothie but guys if it's too thick it not gonna really taste good and yeah that's extra thick extra extra thick so i'm gonna pour the rest of this water so so far i've used about eight ounces of water and then i'm also gonna drop some ice in here So guys, 
if you want it thick, you can keep it thick. I like to drink mine down like a drink, so I don't want mine to be thick. That's nice. That's a good consistency. You see how it kind of moves around, but it coats the side, but not too thick. We don't want porridge. We want a juice. <laughs> All right. So let me get my glass. Here's what we're going to do. I'll turn you guys this way so you can see what's happening. I'm going to move that over. And then we'll take our drink, pour it over some ice. Now, if this is still too thick for you or you want to add sugar, you definitely can. But that is our sea moss, sour sap, and aloe vera drink. Look at that. Look at that. Ow, ow. It looks so good. So I guess we need to taste it, right? So here, I'll bring you guys up so you can definitely kind of see me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, this tastes really nice. You definitely taste the sea moss. You can add um, agave nectar if you like. Some people add stevia. Monk fruit is another natural sweetener. Honey, which actually I do have some honey. So I will add a little bit of honey to it. So I'll show you guys how the honey part works. If you don't like that bitterness, because it can have a little bit of bitterness to it, then you can definitely add honey to it to tame the taste. But it's not a crazy taste. Honestly, it's probably best that you don't add a sweetener. But if you really need it, I'm going to move this for a second. If you really need it, um, natural honey, monk fruit, agave nectar. Agave nectar is probably the best one. Honey also is a great sweetener too. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit less than a tablespoon. Honey is a thickener too, so if you don't like it thick, then definitely blend it with the honey. put in the ice and now I want to mix it up in here but the ice also melts in it too so let's see what about fresh coconut you can add fresh coconut most definitely guys there's no right or wrong to your sea moss drink you can add coconut you can make it with fruit punch if you like if you're having a party and you just want to implement that sea moss in there throw it into your fruit punch and make a really nice fruit punch drink if you want um you want to cook with it. You can cook with it, too. Lala, that is true. But if you're not one that's just doing it for health reasons, you're more... There's people who, you know, use it for party drinks because they still want to incorporate their sea moss. That's when they incorporate the agave nectar or whatever the case may be. But if you're doing it for a health purpose, definitely I wouldn't add a sweetener. If you're doing it because you like sea moss, definitely you can. There's no right or wrong way to it. I mean, it, of course it has all its properties. The sweetener, it's not gonna kill the fact that you, you know, are trying to improve anything. I, I don't feel like it will, but you know, everybody has their own thought on it. I love honey, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I have this thing for honey, I don't know why. And then the acidity, 
I like lime. And if you are one who doesn't like um, that, that sea moss taste, which it doesn't taste that much, you don't really taste it that much, you can use citrus. Citrus always cuts that taste. That's why some people use lime. I don't use lemons. They have greater benefits with lime. It tastes good, I'm not gonna lie. Melanie, you can do that, or Melody. Really, really nice. Really refreshing. This is also something where you can blend it up and add ginger to it in the mornings. Ginger root is amazing as well. Um, if you don't have ginger root, what else have I used with it? Pineapple. I've done pineapples with it. Um, I've done watermelon and sea moss. You, I've basically done almost every fruit. So yeah, sea moss and sour sap. Isn't it nice? And then you can, you don't have to put as much sea moss if you don't want to. Most people would do, they try to make it by ounce. It's so many different, it's so many different things that's done with sea moss. It's sad. Okay. The sea moss is available on my website. I know you guys are like, what are you doing? As a child, soa sap is one of my favorite, like my favorite fruits. So I can sit and eat the, the pulp from it all day. I'll literally open the soa sap because it's really, when it's ripe, it gets really soft. And then you open it up and each pod has a seed in it. You take the seed out and you juice it and then the pulp, you can eat it. You don't have to juice it. You can still eat the pulp. And then aloe vera, you can get that almost anywhere. Aloe vera is not hard to get. That's really easy to get. Rhonda, you can Google and find sea moss basically wherever. Right now, there's a shortage. I can tell you that now. Sea moss, because everybody is trying to get immune support, and they know that sea moss is one of the best ones at this point. And everybody just got hit to, doc hit to Dr. Sebi. And so it's like in the stores, if you try to buy sea moss in the stores, they'll limit you to one pack. One pack is usually either one ounce, two ounce, or five ounce. Yep. So I hope you guys got some good information in regards to making your sea moss drink. There is no right or wrong way to make your drink. You make it according to your taste buds. Now, if you're doing it for certain reasons, definitely follow, you know, whatever recipe it is that you want to follow. If you're one who wants to drink it, just sea moss and water, go ahead. That's your choice. And then if you're going to do, let's say you're going to do the sea moss on your hair. I'll show you guys exactly how it's done. So you guys get more than one recipe today. I'm just gonna rinse this out really quick. I'm 
just going to put my sea moss in a container. And then we're going to make some sea moss gel. Yep, so we're going to make some sea moss gel. So first things first, I want to pour my sea moss drink into this mason jar for storage. So this will go in the fridge. All right. Can you rinse these out? We're gonna bring our blender over. I got a new tripod. I actually hate it, but you know. And then let me rinse out this. Okay, so to make sea moss gel, you're gonna need your bloom sea moss. Is it okay to use the sour sap juice if you can't find frozen? So the sour sap juice has sugar in it. If you are doing it and you don't mind the sugar, go ahead. But honestly, try your hardest to see if you can find it frozen or you can find the fresh fruit itself. The sweet ones, those are just like, those are literally watered down, torn apart sour sap that they've juiced to death and tried to make a drink out of it. So it doesn't have as much benefit as if you had the actual pulp and you blended the actual pulp and strained it off and you got your juice from it naturally. Remember, they're making it based on taste, whereas the natural pulp itself you are making the taste. You are literally extracting as much of the juice out of the pulp as you can. And then you can, you know, either some people add condensed milk to it to make it sweet. Some people drink it the same way with just a little bit of water, that kind of thing. All right. So I'm going to take our sea moss. Put it in our blender here. I think I'll just use all that I blend anyway. So the only thing you'll need for this is purified water or bottled water. Your sea moss and a glass mason jar. That's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour my water in. So I always start with half the level of water to the amount of sea moss that I have in the blender. Can sea moss be used to treat alopecia? Sea no. moss, I've read in regards to sea moss that it has a lot of healing properties for the hair because it contains zinc. Now, have I heard that it heals alopecia? I have not. I'm not certain, so I don't want to tell you yes, and I don't want to tell you no. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on our blender.
spatula and just make sure that I have everything down off the sides. And I'm just going to pulse it. Let me check it out. Okay. So you're just going to take a glass jar. It needs to be put into a glass jar, you guys glass jar that's very very important you always want to store your gel in a glass jar okay so we're going to take that off we'll take out the blade and then you'll just pour your sea moss and water into the glass jar i'm not wasting nothing i want every drop <laughs> and then what you'll do is put the lid on put it in your refrigerator and let it sit for a couple hours and at that point it becomes a gel and when it becomes a gel you can spoon it into your smoothies you can spoon it into your meals when you cook You can basically add it to any and everything once it becomes the gel-like form. And all it requires is that you put it in the refrigerator and allow it to set, and that's all. That's how you make your sea moss gel. Only sea moss and water. Yep, so I'm gonna put this in the fridge. And then I'm going to show you guys the one from earlier today that I did my facial with. So this one I used today, earlier today, to do my facial. And it's been sitting in the refrigerator oh, for about an hour, maybe two. So I'm going to show you guys the thickness of it so you can see what happens when it starts to set in the refrigerator. Because earlier today, it was really runny, and that's what it looks like now. So it's becoming a gel. The one that I used for my facial today, I actually added some vitamin E to it. So it's still setting, but this is what it will look like. It'll be nice, it'll be like a gelatin. But this is this one is actually setting, I just disturbed it. But I just wanted you guys to see how after a couple hours, what it begins to look like. So we're gonna put that one back in the fridge. Let it finish out setting, and then we'll put it put it on our face tomorrow. It'll be nice and cool. Hey girl, ready for the sea wash look? Oh, never mind. All right, guys. So let me take this off. So I know how. Ow. All right, so let me turn you guys this way. There we go. So I hope you guys, what did I say? <laughs> I'm thirsty for sea moss. <laughs> um, I hope you guys got some good deets from today's live video in regards to using your sea moss and soursop. I was, I was drinking it while I was um, blending it up. But the sea moss tastes like anything. The more you add, the more you'll taste that ocean taste. But it, it really has no, really don't have that much taste. It's kind of like aloe vera. Anything you put it with, it, it inhabits that taste. So it pulls it in. It's like tofu. Um, but it's definitely something that I would, I would definitely say each and every person that is looking for some real um, immunity support, or um, thyroid function support that kind of thing like myself i'm not excluded that's definitely something that i would um i definitely put it with i'm sorry i just looked at myself on camera i'm like oh. 
anyhow, let me read some of your questions really quickly. Do you know how much water to mix with the sea moss? Honestly, however much sea moss I put into the blender, I'll do a quarter to a half of that in water. That's my measurement. Every, there's some people who are real precise. You want to put 2.4 ounces of water. I'm not against that, but for me, you know, I'm just, I'm more like a throw it in there kind of person. <laughs> I'm definitely a throw it in there kind of person. There we go. Yeah, I'm definitely a throw it in, see, you know, whatever you need to see kind of person. I don't know. I'm when, I follow recipes when I have to, but that's really it. Is it good for weight loss? Yes. Sea moss is great for weight loss. Now, the, the mixture I made today was sour sap sea moss, a little bit of honey, and aloe vera gel. Um, it's supposed to be an appetite suppressant as well. Um, and I think nothing suppresses my appetite. So. <laughs> I just want to be honest. Nothing suppresses. I feel like my wig is like, okay. I feel like those people in the, in the law, when they're in court in England, where the wig is raised off their head, that's what it was looking at for a second. How would you use aloe vera in your hair? You can Google about the aloe in the hair. If you're using it for hair, you'd wash your hair and use it as a conditioner. You'd actually literally put the gel all over your hair and allow it to set on, sit on the hair. I'm good, Ashley. How are you? All right, let me see if there's any other questions that I might have missed. I don't think so. Okay, I think that's it. But yeah, guys, so I'm, I'm thankful that you guys were on tonight's live. Um, okay, yeah. Sorry, I was reading another question. Also, you don't have to use the aloe vera plant. Um, you can do it without aloe vera. I don't want you guys to think that you have to go and buy aloe plants um, or aloe gel. You can do it without. Uh, you don't have to use the sour sap. You can also do it without. You can just do sea moss and, and, and water and have a sea moss smoothie if you like. You can do sea moss and, and oranges and ginger, sea moss and spinach, sea moss and berries. That's a great smoothie as well, sea moss and mixed berries. If you go to like your local grocery store, they have the frozen mixed berries in a bag. Um, those are also really good. I get mine from Walmart, the Great Value brand. It comes with um, tart cherries, sweet cherries, uh, strawberries, and blueberries in the bag. And you can blend that and add a tablespoon or two of your sea moss gel to the mixture. And now you've created a smoothie and you've also included your sea moss. So that's another recipe that you guys can use. But everything you do with the sea moss is really easy. Don't overthink it. The only thing that you do need to make sure that you're doing if you're going to use the sea moss is that you make sure that you wash it really, really well and allow it to bloom before you use it. So the first 24 hours are crucial. You do want to make sure that you wash it very well, okay? Our sea moss still has, it still has seaweed attached to it. It has the ocean salt attached to it. Like, let me show you guys. This thing has, this is like raw, raw sea moss. I'm gonna take out a piece so you can see, there we go. Okay, it smells. Okay, let me show you. You guys see that? That's dirty, okay? It still has all of the ocean on it. So this has to be washed really well and then allowed to sit and bloom. When this blooms, it'll get about that big. It'll just blow up. So definitely make sure that you wash it and you wash it well. If you cook collards, just like that. Make sure that you wash it really well because guess what? This was at the bottom of the ocean. It was at the bottom of the ocean, soaking up all of God's goodness. 
Thanks for today's lesson. Do you only use water as your liquid in your smoothies? Uh, no, you can use coconut milk, almond milk. You don't have to use water, but you can use your coconut milk. Like I'll do a smoothie, with, like a green smoothie with coconut milk, um, unsweetened coconut milk and whatever I'm using. Is once a day good enough to drink? Absolutely. Bye, Vanessa. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and end tonight's live after I read Melody's question because I want to go and sit and eat this. <laughs> I know that's bad, right? Wash it with plain water. How do you know it's bloomed? Um. Should I wash them? Okay, do you guys want me to show you how to wash it or how I wash it? If you'd like for me to show you how to wash it, just put a one in the chat. And then I'll show you guys how to wash it and then show you how to bloom it. Rhonda, yes, it should look clean. It should definitely look clean. I'm gonna pour this ice out and pour this into the glass so I can eat it. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. Let me just, <laughs> you can tell I'm like a, I'm just greedy. Okay. So let me clean out the sink really quick. And then I'll definitely show you guys how to wash it and bloom it. bottle of the wall, a small bottle of water. Okay. okay. All right, so I'm going to move this over. Thank you. I'm just moving this over so you guys will be able to see it in the sink. Thank you for giving me a thumbs up I appreciate you so I'm gonna flip that over there okay so you guys can see into the sink right all right so what you'll do is take your sea moss
So you'll put your sea moss in the bowl. Okay, I'm just gonna do a small amount. So you'll put your sea moss in the bowl. It smells like the beach. I'm gonna use some cool water. Some people like to use bottle water. So what I do is I'll put enough water in there first and literally just swish it around to get a lot of that salt off. Don't keep washing it in this same water, y'all. I see people do that too, and I'm like, okay, so basically you're just washing it back in the same salt. Okay? Pour that off, and then I'll put more water. And this time, I'm going to fill the bowl enough that I have a place that I can go through and really clean it out. Okay, so what you do is you just go through and just kind of open them up because some of the little grit and stuff likes to hide in between because they're so tight. But if you notice, it's already starting to expand. But you don't want it to really bloom. You never want it to bloom with tap water. You want it to bloom with purified water. This is our cleaning water. So I like to go through, and if I see anything in there that doesn't belong, because it's possible. I mean, it's, it's from the ocean. Some people like to go through and just kind of rub it in their hands because it kind of gets a lot out of it. But after like one or two washes, you're good to go. You see the difference now than when it came out of the bag? So I'm gonna show you a piece out of the bag versus a piece that's clean. So this is out of the bag and this is clean. Okay, let me squeeze out some of that water. Out of the bag, right here, clean. Out of the bag, clean. Sea moss is actually kept in the bag. It's once you introduce it to water and bloom it is when the clock starts. Okay, so let me go ahead. I'm gonna just pour that off now. Pour off all that excess water, squeeze it out. So now we have our clean sea moss. You notice it got lighter and brighter. It's already started to open up. So then you're gonna take your purified water. Once you put it in the refrigerator, they say about two to three weeks once you introduce the water to it. I put enough water to cover it. And then you leave that for about 12 to 24 hours to allow it to bloom and expand and then it is ready to be blended and put in your refrigerator to get in its gel form or add it to your juices or your soups or whatever the case may be. Whatever it, in your case may be and then you're all done. Yep, they do have purple sea moss. They, they come from the same family. They're actually from the exact same family. Sometimes you can get gold and purple in mixture it depends on who harvest it and it'll just have a mix you might have a piece that has some purple and gold on it i mean they all have the same benefits mm -hmm. so this is called this is gold sea moss and then they have the purple sea moss so the unwashed literally sits in these bags with the salt on them or whatever you can even still see the stones from the ocean like that's how raw form it is, okay? 
and it fits. There's no expiration dates on the bags. You know what I mean? It's, it's not, it hasn't been outside of it coming from the actual ocean. It hasn't actually been touched with fresh water. Oh, burdock. Yeah, I've heard a lot about burdock. Or blur, I think it's blur, blur dock, something like that. And yes, Ewin, it does provide a lot of minerals. Bladder rack is, is another good one, yes. Yep. So guys, that is how you bloom your sea moss. And you just allow it to sit. I usually take a piece of plastic wrap. Some people allow it to sit just like that out in the open. I'll take a piece of plastic wrap because I'm leaving it out. And my plastic wrap literally is just to put it over the bowl, just like that, and then allow it to bloom. And then I kind of leave it loose just so it has a little bit of air. And you set it to the side. And then tomorrow when you wake up, it is like nice big pieces. After 20 minutes, these pieces get even bigger. So all you're doing is rehydrating the sea moss. That's why we, I call it blooming it but it's really just rehydrating sea moss. Yep, so, all right guys. Well, I hope, like I said, um, everybody got, there we go. I hope everybody got some good deets from tonight's live. As I said before, you guys learned how to make a sea moss drink. You've learned how to do a sea moss facial today. You've learned how to bloom your sea moss. Um, you know, that's, it's just endless possibilities that you can really do with CMOS. So don't be afraid to try new things. Um, definitely in the times we're living in, I definitely say drink a glass of CMOS or add some CMOS to your lunch or dinner once or twice a day. Or maybe if you're not used to it, do it once a week to start. And then the next time you do it twice a week, then the next time you do it three times until you introduced it so much. You don't even know the difference. Now it's just a part of life for you. And see how well that your body will do. If you have a lot of inflammation, stuff like that, you will definitely feel so much better. Um, for those of you that are in the elite total body care group, definitely CMOS is going to be a part of the regimen. You guys will hear me talk a lot about that in the group. For those of you that don't know anything about the elite total body group, um, it is a free Facebook, private Facebook group, um, where we basically encourage each other, you know, support each other, where you, um, you're able to, you know, ask questions. I post every day. I mean, the group just started, but I post every day, you know, I'm like, check in, tell me what you have for lunch today. Tell me how your day is going. If there's something that I think was of, of benefit, I posted in the group, like I posted, uh, a day or two ago about tart, cherry tart juice. Cherry tart juice is awesome. For those of you that don't sleep at night, you have insomnia. Those of you who have inflammation in the body, cherry tart juice, 30 minutes before you go to bed, is amazing. It helps to reduce the inflammation. It relieves stress. It relieves that, those toxins out of the body. It allows you to sleep better. It is bomb. So for those of you that are not in the elite total body group, um, to, excuse me, total body care group, please definitely... Um, join the private group. How you do that, excuse me, um, I will put, actually, I have the link on my video that I did two days ago where you're able to join the group. Um, and I did send out an email as well to everybody that's on the mailing list where you're able to, you know, join the group and add yourself or get added to the group. Right now, we're up to about 350 members in less than two days. So that is awesome. Um, you guys are really Everybody's interacting. It's, it's just exciting to see so many people really connecting on the group and, you know, actually enjoying the fact that there is a group available for us to have private talk and not everybody be in our business. Like we talked about the um, Epsom salt cleanse that I did the other night. I showed everybody how to do it. It's just it's a group for just fellowshipping, encouragement for everybody to just be able to have a free place that you can talk to other people who are in the same boat as you. Um, and I started the group to really help those who are dealing with things such as what I'm dealing with, like hypothyroidism, my weight going up and down. I'm just all over the place. So that's why I started it. 
Yes, Melody, get your cherry tart juice. I have, I have mine in the refrigerator. I actually, every time I go grocery shopping, I'll buy two. So I, I bought this one to try it out. This one is called Cherry Bundy. It's 100% natural cherry, cherry tart juice, not from concentrate. Um, it's great for boosting your immunity, improving your sleep, reducing soreness, recovering faster, no added sugar, and then of course, great taste. I can tell you if you are doing keto, <laughs> be prepared for keto flu if you drink this. <laughs> Every time I have this, I end up with a very light case of keto flu a day later. <laughs> but it's for the greater good. To be quite honest, I, it, it helps, but keto also helps too. So it's kind of like choose one or the other. If you're not doing keto, then definitely drink your cherry, cherry tart juice. Okay? But yeah, like I said, I encourage you guys to join um, the Elite Total Body Care Group. Uh, Sharon, if you didn't get the, um, the link, what I'll do is after this video, you know what, hold on. Hold on, I'm going to go and get it for you guys. And then you'll be able to join the group with no problem. Um, there's no capacity until Facebook says that we're at capacity, which I don't think that can happen. I think that they, I don't think that can happen. So I'm going to log on and then I'll paste the, um, paste the link under this video. Which store sells it? So I'm in Florida, um, Publix, Whole Foods, even Amazon has it. CMOS is good for thyroid dysfunction, period, Josephine. All right. So let me get to the group. What is the name of the other cherry chart juice? Um, I put it in the group as well. The name of the other one is in the group. Need total body care. All right, there we go. So I'm going to show you guys just a sneak peek of what the group looks like outside of all my personal foolishness. Okay, so when you join the group, I'm not inviting anybody in my personal life. This is the picture that you see. Um, and then here, you know, at first it talks about, you know, just welcoming everybody. This group is designed to be an encouragement to each one of us and also be a non-judgmental, positive place for us to fellowship and bounce things off of each other. Okay, so I made sure that I'm very clear with that. I don't want anybody thinking that it's a free-for-all to come in here and say whatever and do whatever. I will curse you out and then bump you out, period. I don't, I don't even play. So like yesterday, um, we did a check-in and asked what was for lunch. So people were really telling, like, talking about what was for lunch. And then we put a tip, if you're trying to lose weight, skip the corn starches and be mindful of the types of fruit you eat. A lot of people don't know that some of the fruits that we eat are very high in sugar, even though it's natural sugar, and it doesn't actually help with the weight loss. It actually adds to it. So some of the fruits that we eat thinking, oh, I'm just eating some fruit is great. Yes, fruit is amazing, but some fruits are extremely high in sugar. Um, then we talked to, this morning, I put up a post about how we're feeling, and everybody was talking about their feelings today. You know, people welcoming, check in, what's for dinner, um, and then, of course, that was just introducing. Um, I posted the video that from today, so you're able to see what we did today with my humongous nose in the face. Okay. Um, comment, we did a comment down below and talk about your goals for the next 30 days. Be realistic. And then I went first. And then our members, um, I announced how many members we were up to. As of 11 hours ago, we were at 334. I don't know where we are now. Let's see. I'm not used to seeing it in this format. Let's see how many members we're at now. We're at 348 right now. And this group started two days ago. Yep. 
And then that just talks about our group. We have our rules, any announcements, all of that stuff goes there. Um, and then for our rules, I'm really straightforward with the rules of the group. Please be respectful in your posts, interactions, pictures, and basically anything and everything you do in the group. Refrain from using any derogatory language or offensive remarks. The group is private, but if you feel someone else would benefit, please feel free to refer them. So this is not a, a private gang. No, if you feel someone else would benefit from it, definitely invite them. Please don't attempt to post your business promo in the group unless asked in a specific post, which we will have a post tomorrow asking everyone to basically promote their business in the post. So we can see, you never know who you can work with or who you might need at that time. And then lastly, any bickering, et cetera, will, be autom will automatically cause you and all involved to be removed without notice. I take stuff very seriously, so I'm just one of those people. Florence, I'm going to put the link, and that's what I meant to go do while I start. I just went on blabber zone. Let me figure out how to actually get the link. <laughs> Let me go to the actual page. There we go. Copy. And then what I'm going to do, his mind for sure, I will go back and check it in just a moment. Let me put it in the description box here, and then you guys will be able to join the group. So you guys don't ever get to see a lot of this back end stuff. Okay, so I just saved it. So now you can go and request to be a part of the group. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay. Back to regular schedule program. Yay, okay, that's where we are. All right, cool guys. So like I said, I hope everybody has an amazing evening. Don't forget, if you are already a part of the group, I am going to go and post right now. So that, you know, any questions that you guys might have, that kind of thing, tonight will be the night to ask any um, questions outside of hair. The total body group is not about hair, to be quite honest. I created that group to support all the other aspects of our body because I do talk about hair a lot. But we have other things that we have to worry about as women, as gentlemen. We have so many different parts outside of just our hair, our skin, our mind, our bodies, everything. So... That's what that group was created for. All right. But I hope everybody has an amazing evening and I'll see everybody later. Bye.